Urban America, Art Walks and Oddities, travel across America with me. We're going to lots of really neat places like the Franconia Art Walk in New Hampshire, a beer can house in Houston, Texas, a desert roadrunner in Las Cruces, New Mexico, artwork on Route 66 in Springfield, Missouri, Casey, Illinois, big stuff in a small town, oddities on Vashon Island in Washington, Casa Grande's Neon Sign Park in Arizona, and Bombay Beach Marina, Salton Sea, California. Let's go. Let's see the Urban America Art Walks and Oddities. First stop, Franconia, New Hampshire. It's off Interstate 93 at Junction 116, not far from Littleton, New Hampshire. Please subscribe to this channel. There are around 30 different sculptures and things to see on the Franconia Art Walk like devotion in the parking lot at the church where we parked. Then we pass through the tunnel to get to the other side to see more artwork. It's 1040. Uh, this is going to take a couple hours. It's approximately two miles. There are brochures placed strategically along the walk. Stop! Where have you explored an art walk? There is a poetry trail not far at the Frost Place, one of the places that Robert Frost lived in New Hampshire. And this appears to be a death mask. Blue Morpho. This guy's catching a butterfly. And here's the night watchman. I like this. Leaves have changed. It's copper. And we found this interesting piece of art at the Greenleaf Library. What's great is the Franconia Welcome Center has restrooms for those walking through town or enjoying the art walk. Thank you, Franconia. Lots of great photo opportunities. And here's a redfish and these pencils and this eraser hanging in a tree along the trail along the river. It's the Gale River. This is one of the most interesting pieces of art that we found, the fractured world. And I think this one was the best. It's made out of snowshoes and car parts and a milk machine. It's a cow. Is it a machine? Well, it looks like it was originally propane tanks. Let's venture on to Houston, Texas, to the Beer Can House. It's located between Fancy River Oaks and Memorial Park, towards downtown and the Medical Center. You'll want to go by and look at all the beer cans that make up the fence, the garage, and the house itself. It's not just beer cans. There's a few beer bottles, the tops of the beer cans. It's just kind of crazy, isn't it? Speaking of recycling things, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, it's the rest stop on I-10 near I-25. This Roadrunner is amazing. It is made of all kinds of trash, mainly plastic trash. We can see shoes, an army man a train. You could spend hours just looking at all the things here. I see an equalizer. I see a cell phone. An old cell phone at that. It's just awesome. This reminds me of the Delhi penguin and the fish in Galveston. You'll want to go and watch my videos on Galveston artwork. A keyboard, tennis shoes, a lot of shoe soles. Moving on to Springfield, Missouri. It's on historic. Missouri, US 66. It's a historic byway. Yes, Route 66. And what shall we find on this art walk? A barrel of monkeys? All kinds of artwork in this park. Oh, look at the windows and the clouds. That's awesome. I like that. Candy Mama Cupcake. Hmm, that looks yummy. Go where your heart wants to take you. Look at this guy. He reminds me of the man with a briefcase that I filmed in Fort Worth, Texas. 1971 Tumblr. Most of the artwork had a sign and a name and information about the artist. So take the time and read about the artwork and the artist. Ascendance, part of the sculpture walk in Springfield. These things don't taste too good, but they are cute. They're fun for Valentine's Day. Speaking of Valentine's, did you see my short on the Love Locks? Sweethearts by Craig Gray on the sculpture walk. Heartstrings. Epidemic. Ugh, what is that? Is that a sunflower? And here's Angelica. She's a fish with hubcaps and gears. A vitality scale. Looks like a birdhouse to me. I have a friend, she says groovy all the time. Her license tag is even groovy. This is a groovy and a peace sign. This was the most colorful bit of art that we found on the Springfield Sculpture Walk. Near McDaniel Street and Olive Street. Wedges three, decay. And moving on to Illinois. Welcome to KC, Illinois. Big things, small town. Look at those antlers. Look at this ruler. 
Look at this ginormous chair. And the world's largest wind chime. The world's largest number two pencil. It's bigger than the pencil that we saw in Franconia. And this ginormous barber pole. And how about this mailbox? What kind of car does the postman have to deliver to that? Everywhere we go, there's always a great coffee shop. Pop in and get a coffee. I think he likes the coffee here. How about this golf club? Watch out. I'm trapped in Casey, Illinois. Isn't he a cutie? He's out front of the Memorial Library. Moving to Vashon Island, Washington. Uh, about that cup of coffee? How about that poppy seed roll? It was amazing. We have visited this island on several occasions, and this bicycle that was maybe leaning against a tree, sat in this tree, has been taken over by the tree. And each year, you see less and less of the bicycle. And these doors are always a fun place to see. They're a block off the main drag on Vashon Island. On Vashon Island in a city park, you'll see Oscar. Don't climb on him. Keep Oscar safe. Now moving down into the desert of Arizona and Casa Grande, the neon sign park. And most of these places do have murals, but the focus of this does include a neon sign saying Sunset Court. How about this old Photoshop sign? Arizona Edison, of course, with a saguaro. Ralph's Cafe and the Horseshoe Motel. Vacancy, how about Dairy Queen? One of those cones sounds pretty good right about now. This park also featured automobiles like all these funny license tags. And they chose these four tailgates to make benches out of. Great idea. Moving on to California and the Salton Sea. What a great place to go. And the Bombay Beach Marina. This is a great place to go at sunset. And see the artwork there. It's all very interesting. Flip flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Leave a comment below and tell me where you have gone to see oddities, artwork, city sculptures. You know. You know what I'm asking. Tell me where you like to go and maybe I can go there sometime. Thanks for the tip.